Hi everyone and welcome to the micro e-learning program from the Global Parkinson's Genetics Program and Aligning Sinus Across Parkinson's. My name is Mohamed Ahmed Noor and I am a medical doctor and MSc student in clinical neurology at UCL. Currently, I'm working at the Clinical Neuroscience Center of Neuroscience and Mental Health at Razi University Hospital in Tunisia. And today I will be presenting on GPA 1, along LARC2, the most significant genetic risk factor for, uh, for Parkinson's disease. After a brief introduction to GBA1, I will talk about the protein misfolding, its primary mechanism of dysfunction, and I will delve more extensively into GBA1 genetic variants and their impact on the clinical phenotype of Parkinson's disease and Gauchy disease. Glucocerebrosidase beta acid 1, commonly referred to as GBA1, is a gene that encodes the enzyme glucocerebrosidase, GKs, initially associated with Gaucher disease, one of the most common lysosomal storage disorder. GBA1 has also been implicated in the uh, pathogenesis of PD. Early observations by the clinician C. Dransky revealed a higher incidence of Parkinson's disease among family members of Gaucher disease patients, which lead to the identification of certain GBA1 variants that increase susceptibility to PD. So far, 5 to 10% of PD patients carry GBA1 mutations. The GKS protein is a lysosomal enzyme synthesized in the endoplasmic reticulum. It plays an important role in the degradation of certain substances within neurons. Especially, GKS is involved in the degradation pathway of specific lipids such as sphingolipids into ceramide and glucose. However, misfolded GKS protein can induce endoplasmic reticulum stress or impair degradation, triggering the unfold uh, the protein response and disrupting the autophagy lysosomal pathway. This disruption leads to the accumulation of alpha synuclei, which promotes neurodegenerative chains, particularly in uh, synucleopathies such as PD. But how those GKs protein misfold, and what are the primary causes of this impairment? The impairment of GKs is mainly due to variation in the coding region of its gene, GPA1. In fact, several variants within GBA1 have been reported to be associated with GKS misfolding. However, the number of copies of these variants can lead to different phenotypes. According to the li literature, and as illustrated in this figure, Gauchy disease is exclusively associated with B allelic variants in GBA1, meaning homozygous statue. In contrast, for Parkinson's disease, GPA1 variants can occur in both heterozygous and homozygous states. From this point onward, we will focus on the GPA1 gene as a risk factor for Parkinson's disease. The GPA1 gene comprises 11 exons, which are the region that code for the GKS protein, and 10 introns. A homologous pseudogene called GPA1P is called located a few kilo, kilo bases downstream, sharing 96% sequence identi identity with GBA1, which adds complexity to studying and interpreting GBA1 variants. Over 406 variants have been reported in the GBA1 gene, uh, with more than uh, 371 of these variants associated with PD susceptibility. GBA1 variants exhibit significant difference in terms of PD phenotypes and progression. According to the plot, homozygous variants are associated with the most severe outcomes. The risk and severity of PD can be further compounded by B allelic variants or variants that lead to complete loss of function, such as N307S. In addition to change in gene expression levels, GBA1 variants exhibit 
ethnic heterogeneity. Certain pathogenic variants are only reported with the Ashkenaz Jewish population, while others uh, are exclusive to individuals of African and African unmixed ancestry. A recent finding by GP2 identified through, uh, identified by, through a GWS study involving people of African ancestry has revealed a novel variant in the intronic region. This variant, although located, to in, uh, located in an intron, has been shown to affect the splicing of functional GBA1 transcripts in recent functional studies. Given the variability in variant frequency and the higher number of uh, reported variants, we can anticipate difference in Parkinson uh, disease phenotypes across population. PD cases carrying GBA1 uh, variants exhibit distinct clinical features, including early onset, more pronounced non-motor symptoms, and faster co cognitive decline. Recent studies have investigated how different GBA1 variants affect disease progression and have reported more severe forms among homozygous cases, characterized by increased cognitive decline, depression, and hallucination. Additionally, GBA1 has been frequently associated with cognitive impairment, even healthy carriers of GBA1. Variants may display subclinical symptoms which could indicate potential prodromal features. In summary, GBA1 along with LARC2 is one of the most significant genetic risk factors of PD. GBA1 mutations lead to the misfolding of the GKS protein, disrupting the autophagy lysosomal pathway and contributing to neurodegeneration through the accu accumulation of alpha synuclei. Variants of GBA1 exhibit ethnic heterogeneity. PD patients with GBA1 variants typically present with early onset or and more rapid progression along with a higher risk of developing cognitive decline. Understanding GBA's role in PD can inform targeted ter therapies such as GKS activity normalizing through gene therapy, subtract uh, reduction therapy or the restoration of normal intracellular GKS trafficking via molecular uh, chaperones and improve disease management. Thank you for your attention and I hope you found the presentation informative.